Hello and uh, welcome to the arithmetic progression. And if you have a calculation, if you need to calculate a number from 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 and so on, um, uh, there's a way of calculating it faster by using formula. The formula in arithmetic progression is S uh, is equal to N over 2 multiplied by the uh, number inside the bracket. There's a bracket here. There's a bracket here multiplied by this number uh, inside the bracket and you get the S the S here in the formula is the sum of all terms. The terms are the contents of the question. Uh, these are the terms. In our example here, we only make it up to seven. Um, simple. And uh, smaller numbers. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven. Uh, all these numbers here are called the terms in the equation. So the sum of all the terms uh, in the equation uh, will be calculated using the formula. Easily calculated using this formula here. The S is equal to N over 2 multiplied by bracket then 2A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D uh, close bracket. And where S is the sum of all the terms a here is the first term of the equation. These are the terms up to 7. The first term there is the A in the equation and this is number 1. Okay, and the D here, D is the common difference between the terms. The common difference between the terms is 2 minus 1 equals 1. And then 3 minus 2 equals 1. And the difference between these two terms, right? 4 minus 3 equals 1. 5 minus 4 equals 1. So, <coughs> all of this, all of the uh, member of the equation has a difference of 1. So, therefore, D is the common, common difference between terms, and which is number 1. And N here is the number of terms depending on how many terms you have in the equation. In this example here that I'm giving you, it's only up to seven. So there are seven, there are, the number of terms in this equation is seven. There are seven terms in this equation. So N, <clears throat> and these are the unknown, the N, the A, and the D. So we gotta figure it out. So here now, therefore, A is the first term according to our definition, so it's one. And D is the common difference between terms, also one. And N is the the number of terms, usually the last number of the terms, which is seven in this example. So we have we have it here. The um, You have to substitute that values there. So A now therefore is equal to 1. Right? And D also is equal to 1. And the N here is 7. These are the number now we're going to use in our formula. Now, now using our formula here, Using our formula, you have to substitute all these values here. So the n is n is seven divided by two according to the formula, and there's a bracket, and there's two multiplied by a, which is one, and plus the number of terms n right here minus one that one inside the parenthesis and multiplied by D which is also 1. 
So solving all this, you gotta solve the um, member of the equation inside the bracket first. See the bracket there. So two times one equals two plus seven minus one equals six. Multiply by one is six. Right here now. So that's two plus six. That's ex equals a eight. And the seven divided by two is three point five. And here's the final. Uh, number now in the equation. So 3.5 multiplied by 8 equals 28. So, so if you manually calculate this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and up to plus 7 you get the number uh, you get the answer of 28 which is the S is the sum of all the terms, right? And this example here is, is a small what if this is up to 100, 500, 10,000, or 1 million? There's no limit. Okay, if we try 100 now, uh, we can solve it. Alright, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and so on up to the end of 100. So the number of terms here now is 100. So this is all you gotta change. Yeah, the uh, in the first example, the first equation here, seven, and here now is one hundred, all right. And now substitute that value there. The n here is in the equation is one hundred, so we gotta change this seven uh, to one hundred, uh, right? 100. So minus 1 times 1. The value of the value of a remains 1 and the d the difference is 1. So all you gotta change here is the number of terms. Now we're using 100. So this is gonna be this is, not, this is gonna be This is going to be 99, all right, 99, and, and this will give you 2 as well, so 2 plus 99 is equal to Two plus ninety nine is equal to one oh one, right? One hundred and one. And the the n here is the n here is one hundred divided by two. Alright? So one hundred divided by two. Now equals to fifty. We got change this three point five to fifty now. All right, 50, and change another one here to 50, so that's the final um, number of the equations now, so, so 50 times uh, 101. Alright, what is that now? Let me see. Calculation. 50 times 101 is equal to 5050. 5, uh, you can solve it yourself. Yes, this gives you now S. Is equal to is equal to five thousand fifty. All right. So that's that's how we use the uh, the arithmetic progression formula. It's very simple.
All right. There you go. You can go up to million, one thousand, ten thousand, it doesn't matter. So if you use that formula, you can quickly get the summation of all the numbers in sequence by using the formula S is equal to N over 2 bracket uh, 2 times A plus N minus 1 times D inside the bracket. You gotta solve this first. The, the number inside the bracket and then multiply it by n over 2 in the 100 here is the 100 divided by 2 equals 50 2 plus 99 101 50 times 101 is equal to uh, 5050 so you can s also try this manually and you will get the same alright thanks for watching bye